Hello everybody, this is General Yanis, and today in Chaos Tactics I'm looking at the Death Guard, now that we have the full index released, uh, taking a first look, trying to give you an update, uh, let's say an overview of which units we have access to now, which units can lead wi which units, and what stratagems, enhancements, and, and, and some maybe some first thoughts on, on some possible combos. So uh, let's uh, take, uh, let's get going. So today, the 13th of June, as expected, we have the Death Guard the Index published today on Warhammer Community. So as I said, as I said in this video, taking a first look at the data sheets, uh, basically the first look at the Index and, and my first impressions here, starting with the Army and Detachment roles, then trying to give you a visual overview of our available units, then which units uh, the leaders for, for what, what, uh, what units the leaders can join, and then uh, also taking a look at the stratagems and enhancements we have, and maybe some first ideas for, for some combos here. And of course, it will be quite interesting to see, let's say, um, the, point, the point values. Of course, we have to wait until Friday. So starting off with the army rules and the detachment rules, uh, nothing more uh, in the book, in the index, than we have seen in the previews. Basically, we get this contagion range of minus one toughness. We get the sticky objectives. Yet even more abilities uh, are revealed that trigger for us when we are on objectives. Uh, so basically the idea for a stick objective, in my opinion, would be that you take it and then you can leave it. But a lot of our rules are basically benefiting by sta staying to the sticky objective. Um, and a lot of people had been speculating if we will get some more feel no pain, some more discussion resilience or something inbuilt in the detachment rules. But uh, this, of course, did, didn't materialize. We basically only have one army rule and one detachment rule that spread the sickness. So here uh, in this uh, table I'm trying to give you a visual overview of what uh, what uh, data sheets we have, what are the units we have available as death guard. Uh, for starting off with our characters, we, you can see we actually have access to quite a lot of characters. Of course, starting with our Primark, the epic hero Mortarion. Then we have two data sheets for the Demon Prince. Demon Prince with wings is a separate uh, um, um, a separate data sheet than the, than the normal Demon Prince without the wings, and they have different, uh, let's say, buffs and abilities. Then we have a lot, of, a lot of our units, a lot of our characters with Terminator armor, starting with Typhus. Then we have Lord of Contagion, Lord of Ireland. Then we have Chaos Lord in Terminator armor, and Sorcerer in Terminator armor. Basically, you have to kit patch somehow, or take some of these older older models to make them more Death guard -y. Then we have the Chaos Lord, with no Terminator armor, and of course the Malignant Playcaster. And then we have a bunch of characters that were previously our five Virion. We have of course the Taliman, Foul Blight Spawn, Bayalugus Purifier, Plague Surgeon, the Noxious Blightbringer, the, 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 for whom the bell tolls, and a new unit now, the Icon Bearer for the Plague Marines, is basically a, a supporting character himself and he can be added to Plague Marines as we will see uh, a, bit, a bit later. So quite a lot of Quite a lot of leaders here, quite a lot of characters, uh, but many, let's say, many Virion and, and a bit more squishy, squishy type uh, type characters, but they, they have some nice buffs. If we look then at our normal squads and infantry and so on, looking at uh, which units have the battle line, basically it's only our Plague Marines are battle line. This means that you could be taking up to six units of Plague Marines, but all other units here you need to mark to maximum take three when you play a 2,000 point game. Uh, looking at our other mainstay infantry, of course we have our Blightlord Terminators and the Death Shroud Terminators, then we have our Poxwalkers and Cultists, they don't get battle line, but I couldn't, there wasn't any, let's say, so far have, we haven't read of a new restriction for taking, for example, uh, how many Poxwalkers you need to take per, per Plague Marine unit or something like that, and also adding, they are not infantry, but <laughs> adding also the Chaos Bone here, uh, Chaospawn actually getting 5 plus feel no pain and our Poxwalkers also a 5 plus feel no pain. So that was quite nice that we finally got some feel no pain. So Mortarion, the Poxwalkers and, and the Chaospawn benefit from 5 plus feel no pain. Then looking at our, our vehicles, uh, we have our Demon Engines uh, and we have um, uh, our Plague Crawler, our, our Mephitic Blight Hauler, the Furted Blow Drones. Then we have um, the Defiler and the Hellbrute that are more Death Guardy. But then we have access to the normal, let's say, uh, chaos, chaos type, um, chaos marine vehicles like the Land Raider, which I think will be quite important with the Assault Ramp. Good thing that we also get the Assault Ramp. I was really worried there that 
Games Workshop would only give it to the loyalist type land raiders. But thankfully we also got Assault Ramp, meaning that we can disembark after it has normal moved, and then we can make a charge with our, for example, Terminators or Plague Marines that were on board the Land Raider. Then we have also the, 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 Chaos, the Death Guard Chaos Rhino that can now uh, transport 12, 12 Plague Marines. And then we have two types of Predator, the Predator Annihilator and the Predator Destructor. Um, I, I forgot to say from the infantry we have lost the possessed, so these are, are, are gone. Uh, and then we have still the Masmic Malignant Fire as our fortification. And as we saw from the legends uh, from Forge World models, uh, previously we had access to Contemptors, Leviathans, the Greater Blight Throne, Terex uh, Assault Drill, uh, Dreadclaw Drop Pods, things like that seem to be not available now for at least if you want to pay tournaments, they would only be legends for Death Guard. Looking now at which leaders can join uh, which units, it's kind of straightforward, not so much overlapping here. So we have first of all our battle line, our Plague Marines here. Uh, a Chaos Lord can be a leader, a Malignant Playcaster can be a leader, they don't have the Terminator armor on. And then all our five Virion and the new Icon Bearer can join Plague Marines. So basically Tallyman, Foul Blight Spawn, Noxious Blightbringer, Biologus Purifier and the Plague Surgeon. And the, and the new Icon Bearer, and from this Virior and the Icon Bearer, uh, you can have two of those added to, to a Plague Marine squad, so that's quite a lot of combination. So you could take, for example, a Chaos Lord and Tallyman, or you can take a Malignant Playcaster and an Icon Bearer, or you can take a Foul Blight Spawn and a Plague Surgeon, so you can mix and match here quite a lot, and that might uh, give some, some uh, open up some interesting combos. I have to, to look more into this. Then moving on to the Terminators, uh, our Blight Lords and Death Shroud, they can be led by the Lord of Ireland's, uh, the Lord of Contagion, that gives now reroll all to hit, so that's quite, it's quite nice, especially when we have lethal weapons that are, um, when they get a 6, uh, six to hit, uh, we auto wound, so giving rerolls to hits, we will be able to, to, deal, to deal more lethal hits. Typhus can also do uh, join the Terminators or a Chaos Lord in Terminator armor or a Sorcerer in Terminator armor. And finally, uh, the, the, the lonesome Poxwalkers uh, can be led by Typhus. So here is basically what you can do. No, no overlap. The Virion unfortunately cannot join the, the Terminators. And basically there is no overlap of, of a leader that can lead both Plague Marines or Terminators here. Basically, only Typhus can be chosen either for Poxwalkers or the Terminators. Now, looking on to our stratagems, uh, we have access to six stratagems. Of course, this should have been seven stratagems for, for Nurgle's uh, finest uh, warriors. Uh, but okay, hopefully we can get one more soon. Uh, we have the, the Ferric Blight. Um, it's costing one command point and it can add one AP to, to shooting attacks. And if we're targeting something in the range of our own objective, we get two AP uh, for the, for, as a boost for the, for the attack. Then we have the Sangus Flux for one command point. This is what has been previewed in the, in the, in the faction preview. So in melee, we can give a unit sustained hits uh, one. So one additional hit on a six to hit. Uh, and uh, we can also, again, something that is benefiting when we are staying close to our own objective. If we are close to our own objective, we get sustained hits too. So exploding six is two. So a lot of these rules basically gives us, um, give us uh, more, more buffs for staying uh, close to our objectives, trying to guard our sticky objectives, which is, for me, a, a, bit, a bit strange mechanic. We should have a buff to steal other objectives and then maybe the enemy debuffs when they are close to our objectives or, or something like that. Uh, disgusting Resilience, we have been talking a lot about this one. Two command points for this stratagem can only be uh, working in the fight phase. Uh, minus one to incoming damage, quite expensive with two command points now, especially when we start with zero command points. Uh, as, as written right now, all these um, mean, uh, reducing damage rules for... We saw a lot of them for the Dark Angels. Um, as written, they would be taking down the damage to, to zero. I expect that it it's probably is taking damage two down to one, but not one down to zero, but probably that will be FAQ'd soon. Then we have 
gifts of decay for one command point, we can regain d3 lost wounds on a death card model, or regain again, regain three wounds if you are in range of your own objective. Uh, this can be quite nice to uh, maybe uh, heal up Mortarion or something like this, a Demon Prince, if he's losing quite a lot of wounds, we can, we can regain some some high value uh, units uh, here um, with this with this stratagem then we have the boil blight in the shooting phase we can ignore cover and gain the heavy keyword versus an enemy that is in contagion range and then cloud of flies a defensive spell when the enemy is shooting for one command point um, the one unit that that has been selected to be shot at gains stealth basically minus one to be hit so this is like the miasma of pestilence um, a psychic ability that we have in the ninth edition. So looking at our four enhancements, so the enhancements are what previously was relics and warlord traits. Um, now we can we can select. Um, we'll have to see, of course, when they when they give us all the the, the strike force army building rules here. But uh, we have access to four uh, death card enhancements. The first one is a living plague, giving plus three inches to auras and contagions abilities for one model so this would be bringing up the contagion range to 12 inch from the from the third round and uh, and also some of these auras that some of our characters have can be can be enhanced by the living plague the droning aura uh, is that enemy in contagion that fails a, a battle shock can can gain, uh, can receive extra mortal wounds, but it's basically one or d3 mortal wounds depending on the dice. Maybe not not super strong here. Uh, deadly pathogen, uh, plus one strength and plus one attack for the bearer's melee weapons uh, can be helping some of our melee uh, strong uh, characters. And again, plus two strength or plus two attacks, more buffs if we are in range of our own objective marker. So again, defending our own objectives will be uh, maybe Death Card's strongest strongest point with all these abilities. And then finally, Shamble Rot, minus two inches uh, to enemies charging this model's unit. Could be quite nice uh, that if you want to avoid, uh, for example, some of our Terminators to be charged. I would expect most of most of the enemies don't want to charge, uh, let's say, our, our very sturdy uh, Terminators. Um, but rather try to shoot them off, off the table. And then some initial, initial thoughts on combos. This is really a first glance, and I hope I haven't uh, <laughs> mis misread something, but so far I think, as, as we have been discussing in the forums, Lord of Ireland's and the Plague Bear Scrollers Mortar, uh, when Lord of Ireland can see a target, the Plague Bear Scrollers Mortar uh, get gains plus one to hit, so he can the, the Plague Bear Scroller can ignore the the penalties of, of let's say shooting in under indirect fire that can be quite helpful and also force battle shocks on the opponents. Lord of Contagion, re-rolling all to hit plus death shroud probably will be a strong combo. Um, and then typhus and self uh, self regenerating poxwalkers can be quite interesting because in the poxwalkers ability they say that when typhus is leading a unit and let's say we can have maximum twenty poxwalkers. Uh, every time Typhus uses his Eater Plague ability that can deal mortal wounds to enemies, this counts as uh, as uh, bringing back dead Poxwalkers to the to the unit, bringing it up to the starting strength. Um, so so that ca can be quite nice uh, with um, yeah the the, the the twenty Poxwalkers probably difficult to chew through with their five plus feel no pain and and uh, Typhus. Uh, being able to re regenerate them with his nice uh, shooting ability that can be doing a couple of mortal wounds uh, versus most enemy units. A Demon Prince without wings, he has an aura for 6 plus feel no pain to our infantry. Of course that could be helpful to enhance the durability for our Plague Marines and, and Terminators, but he has to, to let's say, walk walk with them, he can't, he can't lead them. And then for the Plague Marines, as I said, there is a lot of leader combinations. We can add up to two leaders and then we can be transporting them with a Rhino or a Land Raider. So, for example, the Chaos Lord bringing reroll ones to hit uh, and Taliban plus one to hit, then we will be getting more, let's say, lethal hits and, and more hits in, in total. Biologus Putrefire uh, and Taliban here. Basically, Biologus Putrefire makes all the weapons. Uh, to have lethal hits and they are doing lethal hits on the five plus to hit 
So with the yeah, so the, this is quite a nice nice combo. The Blightbringer can be also be quite strong. Rerolling advance and charge rolls. This can be nice for melee plague marines, maybe getting out of of a land raider or walking up together with a Blightbringer. And then the Surgeon, he can bring back one dead Plague Marine every command phase. He can also heal a character. As I read it, he could probably heal himself also if he's hit by precision weapons or some of the other characters leading the Plague Marine squad here. So, uh, Summer and Final Thoughts. Uh, there is a lot of much more, much more to analyze, guys. I need, I need some time to do calculations. And uh, also, of course, we have to see the points. Uh, overall, I think we have a bit less choice of units. There is quite a lot of characters, though. We lost access to the Possessed. We don't have so many Forge World options. And the battle line for us is are the Plague Marines. It's quite straightforward, as I said, which units can lead uh, which units. Uh, and there is not like you, you can think, should I use the Malignant Plague Aster on Terminators or Plague Marines? Basically, you have a set of characters for your Plague Marines, another set of characters for your Terminators, and then... Only Typhus basically can you can choose if it's if it's Poxwalkers or Terminators. Not much extra durability to be found. Of course, minus one to be hit with Cloud of Flies. Um, we have the the aura from the Demon Prince. Some of our units have five plus feel no pain, um, but of course there is still early days and a lot more combos to figure out and test. Um, so far, maybe anti vehicle will be problematic, and can we? Add maybe some Chaos Knight allies. I was taking a glance at some of the data sheets for, for the Chaos Knights. They have some nice, nice anti-vehicle shooting weapons. Let's see if we can take some Dreadblades. I'll analyze that as well. So with uh, this uh, concludes the video. What do you think about the index of, of Death Card? Uh, is that anything combo uh, you, you might have thought? Please let me know. Uh, post in the comments uh, or visit the Discord channel to, to discuss there. If you want to support my efforts to try to bring you all this analysis uh, and all now that we have to, to look at all these data sheets, please visit my Patreon page or become a YouTube member. And with these words, uh, General Yanis signing out. Stay, stay safe out there and bye-bye.